जियो बाइट हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जियो बाइट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिविजन ऑफ ए डेसिमल नंबर बाय ए होल नंबर टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट डिविजन ऑफ ए डेसिमल नंबर बाय अनदर डेसिमल नंबर लेट अस फाइंड 25.5 by 0.5 that is 25.5 divided by 0.5 we have 25.5 divided by is 0.5 so here both the numbers are decimal numbers so we need to convert these decimal numbers into whole numbers so how to convert decimal numbers into whole numbers by dividing with some number we can convert the decimal numbers into whole numbers right first number is 25.5 in 25.5 after the decimal point we are having one digit so we need to divide by 10 in order to remove the decimal point 255 by 10 divided by and second number is 0.5 after the decimal point we are having only one digit so we need to divide by 10 05 by 10 next we need to find the reciprocal so reciprocal of 5 by 10 is 10 by 5 and we need to change the division symbol to multiplication symbol that is 255 by 10 into 10 by 5 which is equals to here 10 10 get cancel we will be getting 255 by 5 which is equals to here 551s are 255 so we are getting 5 1 51 five. so 5 into 51 is 255 so we are getting the result is so the result of 25.5 divided by 0.5 is 51 next 22.5 divided by 1.5 we have 22.5 divided by 1.5 is equals to so these two are decimal numbers so we need to convert these decimal numbers into whole numbers so how to convert decimal numbers into whole numbers in the first decimal number after the decimal point we are having only one digit so we need to divide by 10 then we will be getting 225 by 10 divided by in second digit also after the decimal point in second number also after the decimal point we are having only one digit so we need to divide by 10 then we will be getting 15 by 10 which is equals to 225 by 10 into 10 by 15 so here 10 10 get cancel then we will be getting 225 by 15 so here 15 ones are 15 15 15s are 225 which is equals to 15 so the result of 22.5 divided by 1.5 is 15 27 by 
we can write it as 27 divided by 0 0.03 first one is whole number second one is decimal number so we need to convert this decimal number into whole number which is equals to 27 divided by so in order to remove the decimal point we need to divide with 100 why because after the decimal point we are having two digits in 0 0.03 so we will in order to remove the decimal point we need to divide by 100 so we are getting 3 by 100 which is equals to 27 so we need to find the reciprocal so if you find the reciprocal then division symbol is converted into multiplication so 27 into 100 by 3 which is equals to 27 by 1 there is no denominator that's why we are considering as 1 into 100 by 3 now we need to uh, perform the product of numerators by product of denominators that is 27 into 100 by product of denominators that is 1 into 3 that is nothing but 3 which is equals to 27 into 100 is 2700 by 3 so here 3 ones are 3 3 900 sir 2700 so we are getting 900 so the result of 27 by 0 0.03 is 900 next try this first one 7.75 7 by 0 0.25 we have 7.75 7 divided by 0 0.25 which is equals to so these are the two given decimal numbers so we need to convert these two decimal numbers into whole numbers in the first number after the decimal point we are having two digits so in order to remove the decimal point we need to divide with 100 then we will be getting 775 divided by 100 divided by in the second number also after the decimal point we are having two digits so in order to remove that decimal point we need to divide with 100 then we'll be getting 25 by 100 which is equals to 775 by 100 into reciprocal is 100 by 25 which is equals to here 100 100 get cancelled then we are getting 775 by 25 here 25 ones are 25 30 ones are 775 so therefore we are getting 31 so the result of 7.75 divided by 0 0.25 is 31 next second one 42.8 by 0 0.02 we have 42.8 divided by 0 0.02 is which is equals to so we need to convert the given decimal numbers into whole numbers so in the first dig first number after the decimal point we are having only one digit so we need to divide with 10 in order to remove the decimal point 
that is for 428 by 10 divided by in the second number after the decimal point we are having two digits so in order to remove the decimal point we need to divide with 100 so we will be getting 2 by 100 which is equals to 428 by 10 into reciprocal is 100 by 2 here 10 ones are 10 tens are 100 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 so we are getting 428 into 5 which is equals to 425 into 5 is 2140 so the result of 42.8 divided by 0 0.02 is 2140 next third one 5.6 divided by 1.4 we have 5.6 divided by 1.4 which these are the two given decimal numbers so we need to convert these decimal numbers into whole numbers then we'll be getting 56 by 10 divided by 14 by 10 which is equals to 56 by 10 reciprocal then decimal 10 by 14 which is equals to here 10 ones are 10 ones are 10 10 get cancelled now here 14 ones are 14 fours are 56 then we'll be getting 4 so the result of 5.6 divided by 1.4 is 4 next moving to the example 10 each side of a regular polygon is 2.5 centimeter in length the perimeter of the polygon is 12.5 centimeter how many sides does the polygon have so the given information is the perimeter of a regular polygon is the sum of the lengths of all its equal sides which is equals to 12.5 centimeter so the perimeter of the polygon is 12.5 centimeter next and each side of regular polygon is 2.5 centimeter in length length of each side is equals to 2.5 centimeter thus the number of sides equals to 12.5 by 2.5 which is equals to the given decimal numbers consist of 
only one digit after the decimal point so we need to divide with 10 for both the numbers so 10 10 get cancelled then we'll be getting 125 by 25 so here 25 ones are and 25 uh, are 125 which is equals to 5 so the polygon has 5 sides So, if the perimeter of a regular polygon is sum of the lengths of all its equal sides is 12.5 cm and length of each side is 2.5 cm, then polygon has 5 sides. Next, moving to the example number 11. A car covers a distance of 81.1 km in 2.2 hours. What is the average distance? covered by it in one hour a car covers distance of 89.1 kilometer distance covered by the car is equals to 89.1 kilometer and how much amount of time it is taken to cover the distance of 89.1 kilometers 2.2 hours so time required to cover this distance is equals to 2.2 hours so distance covered by it one hour is equals to so 89.1 by 2.2 which is equals to 89 891 by 10 divided by 22 by 10 which is equals to 891 by 10 into 10 by 22 which is equals to here uh, 10 10 get cancelled and we'll be having 891 by 22 that is nothing but we are getting 40.5 kilometer so if the car covers the distance of 89.1 kilometer in 2.2 hours then the distance covered by a car in one hour is 40.5 kilometers the remaining topics will be covered in the next video thank you for watching please do like share comment and subscribe to geobyte geobyte